Imagine a world of darkness, void of light and colors. Imagine a world of silence, without sound and music. What would your world be like? Imagine what if one could make a difference so that we could see and hear the world in a reimagined way. Lighthouse School is a special school that provides a nurturing environment for children with visual and hearing impairment to learn and to grow. A beacon of hope to the children, Lighthouse School aims to equip them with confidence and a sense of adequacy in coping with future challenges. Over the years, the rapid pace of technological change has mapped out a challenging landscape for Lighthouse School in meeting the educational needs of their students. However, this presented an opportunity for Cape of Colors to collaborate with Lighthouse School in the purchase of equipment using assistive technology and also help with the setup and integration of the technical needs in the school. Today, students at Lighthouse School are empowered in their learning in an enhanced and reimagined educational environment. Well, I joined the school way back in January 1968. That means I've been here for the past 40 odd years. I think I'm moving to about 43 or 44 years uh, in service with Lighthouse School. And over these 40 odd years, I found it a very enjoyable, very challenging, and very satisfying career with Lighthouse School. And in fact, when I first came in, I was very much touched and moved by the visually impact children, more so the totally blind children who are very adorable and yet very intelligent. And they, do, they did really greatly impress me, yeah, such that I found it worthwhile uh, to stay on and be able to contribute uh, and be of service to them so that they can grow up to be useful and good law-abiding citizens in their adulthood. They can also become useful citizens. Although they are visually impaired or blind, they are still able to contribute back to society. Well, we are very grateful to Evangel Family Church for the kind donation of the 10 Macs, both desktop and laptops, as well as six units of refresher brails to the school so that we can help our children in the acquisition of the necessary skills to keep abreast with the latest technologies so as to enable them to do well in their studies and be able to have access to information through the use of computers. Hi, my name is Seema Jain. I teach children with visual impairment here in Lighthouse School. Um, along with teaching regular subjects like literacy and numeracy, I'm also teaching ICT skills, uh, especially on the new iMac and uh, MacBook Pro. 
and also the use of um, braille refresher. Any new technology does possess some difficulty when we use it initially. However, we are getting support from some of the visually impaired adults who are already using this technology. And along with that and some trial and error and some research on the internet, I think we are able to cope pretty well using uh, this technology. Definitely, it is benefiting and will benefit as we go on further teaching this new technology to our children. It, it opens up this wide uh, array of information from the internet and you, earlier they used to just listen with, the, with jaws, they can only listen but using the braille refresher they can read what they are listening and that way they are much better in understanding the text in even in their comprehension of their text um, it is benefiting them a lot more not just in school but also outside school with the new technology they are not just able to read and understand the text better but they are also able to get so much more information outside of their textbooks. They can access the internet, surf the internet for new information and that way their knowledge expands which otherwise only with the books we were not able to do earlier. It is not just um, exciting to use this technology for classroom use and for learning but it is also helping children to have new ways of recreation. They can log on to YouTube, they can listen to music and it is always so exciting to see the smiles on their faces when they say oh they want to listen to this music and they are able to go on the internet, uh, log on to YouTube and put their favorite music and listen to it. So I'm really happy with this new, uh, with the iMac and the MacBook Pro and the use of Braille Refresher and the smile that it is bringing to our children. Um, I wish I can have more children uh, use this technology efficiently and I'm able to help more and more children with visual impairment to not just use for learning but also for recreation. I am used to using the windows in the past few years and I have to learn the keystrokes all over again. Sometimes I got confused with the command keys, option and control keys. I know if I learn it well, I will do better. Sometimes I try to enter into something, for example, um, the internet. But the computer doesn't exactly enter in the place I want it to be. It gets all messy and I feel that as if I'm lost. But I know if I keep practicing on the computer keyboards, I will learn how to overcome all this and it will become better. Sometimes if I get lost, I need my teachers and friends to help me how to go to internet or somewhere else. I know that practice makes perfect on the iMac, so I try right, to practice every day at home. Hi, I am Shermin. I am a real user. With the real refresher, I not just can listen, but I can also read. I can do my worksheet on the real refresher, and I can also read what is in the internet. I can see as well I see a listen I so I can easily use. I like the iMac because it I can make the form size bigger. For a long time Lighthouse School have been using the traditional Briola. And this is how the traditional Briola looks like. It is somewhat a mechanical device. It has been around for a long time. 
since the 1960s. But it is an important device for the blind. And what this builder does is to act like a typewriter, convert any normal text into a braille form. A typical small booklet like this in standard text, when converted to a braille, will look somewhat in this size. It's bulky, not durable, and it takes time to process. Now with the improvement in the assistive technology, what we have done is to replace this old mechanical device with a small lightweight portable device called the Refresher Braille. And this Refresher Braille is wirelessly connected to a computer and it automatically converts any text into a Braille form. And because of this setup, a student don't have to carry many of these books home for their homework or for their revision. What they can do is that they can save the previous homework in a soft copy in a computer. Together with the Braille, Refresher Braille, they can call up any homework they have done previously anytime, anywhere they want. And I think this is a great improvement. The enthusiasm and perseverance of these visually impaired and hearing impaired students inspire us to see and hear with new perspectives. Imagine their world of darkness, now filled with light and colors. Imagine their world of silence, now filled with sound and music. Imagine the reality made possible because we dare to reimagine.